are back following this huge industrial uh, fire in the Channel View area where uh, Channel View um, Fire Department along with the Harris County Hazmat and fire crews are all trying to fight this. This uh, entire block looks to be on fire and it is a monster with all of that thick black smoke. Yes, luckily we have sky eye up in the air right now with this uh, eagle eye view and we've got Don Armstrong in there as well. Don, we know you kind of just got on the scene. I know we're all still working on getting details, but unfortunately covering industrial fires uh, in Harris County is not an uncommon thing. But Don, I don't remember the last time we saw something this huge on fire. Well, it is kind of bizarre, Eric. As a matter of fact, when we uh, swung around to this side of the fire, I noticed that the ditch uh, in front of this building that I'm showing you right now, uh, where the fire is centered behind it, that ditch had already been on fire, but apparently that fire has been put out. I don't know whether it's because of so much water, but apparently it is some sort of a liquid that went down into the ditch from whatever is being held inside of this building or what's left of it now. Uh, we don't know what kind of chemical or uh, industrial kind of solvent, whatever it is that's burning, is burning black like it is some sort of a petroleum product. Uh, we understand that Harris County Marshall is on the scene, Channel View Fire is here, there are other fire departments are on the way that aren't here yet, but uh, I don't know even how you begin to fight this thing because it is so massive. All of the fire seems to be on the ground, which tells me that the building has collapsed or has burned to the point where it's now down on the ground. But as you can tell, I'm gonna pull back here and let you see how thick and how high this uh, plume of smoke is here at this location. We don't know the name of the business yet. We're trying to get that information. I did not see a name outside of the building. It is in the 1000 block of Lakeside Drive over here on the east side of town. But this is a massive fire and it takes up the entire block. We're hoping that it doesn't skip the road that is between it and all of these chemical tanks that are off to the side of it over there. But as you can tell, a massive fire over here on the east side of town should be able to see this from almost all points of town. Yeah, Don, we were concerned when we saw all those tanks literally right across that little strip of land. I know they're trying to get water over there as fast as they can to make sure it doesn't jump. Uh, I'm concerned. Uh, obviously, we, we don't know whether there are any injuries there, and it's terrible when you see this scene. Certainly hoping nobody was injured on the ground, but I'm also concerned about what's in the air that so much of the city is now going to be breathing um, because of that smoke that's going up. And as you said, we don't know at this point what's burning down there. No, that's right. Uh, I, and let me zoom in here and see if we can see anything. It looks like barrels or oh, containers yeah. are completely of, of liquid. Yeah, and then there are also those square containers, and you see those on the back of trucks, uh, mostly chemicals of some sort that you see them uh, every once in a while pass you by on the freeway or you pass them. But uh, it's a lot of a uh, lot of that in this uh, area. I assume that some of this is uh, was on the outside of the building, some of it was in it. Can't really tell if there was an enclosure at all. But once it started, boy, I'll tell you what, the whole thing has lit up. And as you can tell, it is massive, a massive fire on the ground here. And, and Don, I also wanted to ask you, forgive me, you, you, I know you were talking about it, that this is on Lakeside Drive. We were getting some more information through uh, from our producer while you were saying that. But when we talk about Lakeside Drive here and the Channel View area, what are some of the major thoroughfares that people might recognize in relation to where this is going on right now? Well, Eric, as you can tell, now, there is the ship channel there. Pardon our uh, skids. Uh, and right over here is the San Jacinto Monument. So that's how far east it is. Um, uh, I can turn the camera around and we can all get a view because, <laughs> quite honestly, I'm more focused on the fire than, than anything else. Um, uh, as far as a major freeway is concerned, I guess 225 would probably be the closest, but all of these seem to be industrial roads around this area, so I wouldn't imagine that any major thoroughfares would be shut down or affected, at least at this point. Okay, uh, definitely good that it's not a highly residential area. This is certainly, a, as you said, very industrial. Um, and so the people that, that had been there would have been the employees. I saw quite a few cars that had been engulfed in flames in this complex as well. And you can see uh, some of these might just be the, the workers' cars that, that actually go to work there every day. It looks like part of that's a parking lot. Um, and as you had zoomed in, we were seeing containers uh, that were all, they looked like they had been stacked up and now are just scattered around. Um, 
and it looks to be a, a full collapse of the building as well. Maybe we're seeing parts of what used to be the roof. It's difficult to tell, but um, we can certainly see that there were containers, and of course, we would believe inside of containers is something that um, that's being used in these industrial processes and it might take us some time to get an answer about what was in there those hazmat crews um, obviously are going to be taking every precaution but for anybody else around the city that's going to be breathing that air we just don't know what's in there i definitely want to check in with uh with david tillman in a moment to figure out where all that smoke is going it does look like it's pushing um, up pretty high into the atmosphere which is good it's not blowing uh directly onto neighbors yeah